Well, you could hear that. You could hear a pin drop around the Rock Hospitality Beverage Stadium as we have. Yeah, Ebsfleet were just on the attack, but it's brought to a quick halt. And there's Stefan Illich, goes back to Ben Schroll, who then decides to send it long, looking for Tommy Wood. He is able to tussle for a touch, but it's uh, not able to find a teammate. Mm. Now, catch them napping a little bit, and this Stefan Illich going to the byline. He's done very well to open up some space. Eventually crowded out, but Tommy Block on the follow-up gets across in, and it was Tommy Wood who... Uh, Got to it, and he was just caught underneath it a little bit. So you've really got to manage it, haven't you? But Stefan Illich has done well to win it high, and he's got options in the box. He tries to pull it back to Tommy Wood, doesn't find him. Instead, Curran Brown gets a shot off, which is blocked well. And then Alfie Whittingham bounces up to him. May have been a case of handball as well, but gets the shot away eventually and goes over the bar. But yeah, we've gone real toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Haven, the likes of Welling, teams that have started well. Yeah, Stefan 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 Illich has won it back again, and he goes to the byline he's done well to get past one he gets brought down that's going to be a free kick it was outside the, the uh, box well. it's a yellow card for Franklin Domi for the opening 10 minutes and this would be a great way to cap it off if we could land this on a beaver's head it's Vincent to take he does well oh and it is in it's gone in and it's Dean Inman I think I'm not sure who it is I can't quite see I don't know who that came off of last but suddenly Hampton and Richmond find themselves leading the league leaders well I mean I mean, it's a start, it's a start, you know, the goal the Stars deserved. Absolutely no idea who is claiming that one. Looks like Tommy Wood I might think be it's uh, Tommy Wood. claiming it, but to be honest... And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, for once the commentator's curse actually works in our favour and we do score on the 10-minute mark and Ebsfleet will be desperate for a reaction. I'm sure we're about to see that. If, if the first 10 minutes weren't a wake-up call, that goal certainly will be. I've alluded yeah. to earlier, you know, maybe they are just a little bit on cloud nine because of that... FA Cup first round win, you know, a big moment for the club. First time reaching the second round in 19 years, I think, was on their Twitter. Uh, but here they come, uh, Liam Vincent with a cracking challenge on uh, Amari Sterling James. But they're coming forward again, this time over on the left-hand side. Cross comes in to number 14, a shot, and it's uh, straight at the goalkeeper, Joe Walsh, luckily. But he does enough to palm it up and away from danger. And it's going to be Ebsfleet's uh, first corner of the game, actually. So, okay, Neil right by our technical our commentary area sorry plays a long ball forward it bounces over Tommy Block who uh, misjudged the flight of it he tried to pull it back to Dominic Alfred Polion and he just didn't connect with it and they are just starting to get back into this game yeah it's got to be careful here they're getting in down that left a little bit too often and uh... yeah it's Bingham he shoots and it's a goal it's pulled back to him just inside the Hampton box and he makes no mistake. It's a difficult finish from there on his left foot. Just has to kind of drag it. Uh, yeah, it didn't feel, it feels like almost a little bit soft. That. I don't think we've really sort of, uh, you know, sustained that any sort of real pressure kind of out, almost out of nowhere there. Almost a little bit too easy to, to get in down that left foot. And then sets it to Tanner who goes out to the left hand side, cutting in again, comes through. It's inside the box and eventually, I don't know who that's come off of. It's a goal kick, so it must have come off of Bingham. And that just comes with the territory, doesn't it? And here's Stefan Illich again, who's certainly been one of our brightest, as we said. He goes for a shot this time, and it's straight down the throat of Mark Cousins. Not really Whittingham trying to set it out right. Stefan Illich, he's having to evade one challenge, two challenges. Now he's inside the box. Can he shoot? He does! Oh! What a goal that would have been from Stefan Illich. Three pl Ebsfleet players, he just dribbled past like they weren't even there. And his shot, he just drags it a little bit wide. It's unlucky. Yeah, mere inches there for Stefan. It's just done so well. Gone past one, gone past two. Looked like yeah, sort of the easiest bit to do, but just drags it wide. Maybe one for the left foot. Doesn't go to plan. Only falls to Sterling James, and he's twisting and turning. Eventually gets a shot off, but it uh, just lacked any power to really trouble Joe Walsh. Drifts inside, tries to play a one-two with Bingham, but Liam Vincent was in the way. And then comes forward. Tommy Woods does very well to come out on top and he's got options he's got Jake Gray he's got Stefan Lynch on the other side of the pitch and he just can't pick out either of them and it's Hayden Hollis who uh, does well to get back into position and, and make to get our um, we want to get a um, we want to get on the ball a little bit more because he hasn't really been involved going forward so far and you know he is that danger man probably our best player so far this season yeah, and I think Stefan Lynch as well in the last 10-15 minutes maybe hasn't seen as much of it as he'd like to. He eventually comes into the middle of the box and it was it was Alfred Polion who had the shot and it's another good save by Joe Walsh but it was straight at him again. It's, you know They're not putting their chances away. Probably the same as us in some regards which is surprising considering the differing league positions of the two clubs. But uh, instead, Hampton and Richmond can come forward but Liam Vincent's ball looking for Alfred Whitting down the line is a poor one. Yeah, here comes Bingham 
spreads it out to the right. Great defender. Uh, Liam Vincent, Vincent, and Liam Vincent. Vincent spotted it well and was out to make the interception. Here's Connor Curran Brown, space in front of him. He's got Vincent to his left, finds him in acres of space. He's inside the box. What can he do? Tries to pull it across to Tommy Wood, but uh, Hayden Hollis was there. The ball goes up in the air, and then Mark Cousins able to claim played centrally to O'Neill, then played down the right to Toby Edsner, and it's touched. The cross is touched by uh, Ben Schroll, heading goalwards. Tommy Block can get his head up and make a cross if he wants to, decides to go a little bit deeper, eventually gets it in. It goes past a couple of players, comes out to Shane Dunn. Now Liam Vincent on the opposing side finds Curran Brown, who checks back in, but he's under pressure from Sterling James. Brought down, nothing given for either side. Curran Brown has it again, though. Plays it down for Whittingham, who shoots! Oh, just didn't have quite enough power, but it also just dragged it slightly left of the goal. But O'Neill still just camped outside Hampton's box at this point. Plays it to Bingham. Edsa receives it, plays it across the face of goal. And it was Ben Schroll who gets the vital interception and clears it away for an absolute throw-in. Plays it to Jake Gray, across to Alfie Whittingham. And now Stefan Illich on the right-hand side. He's inside the box. He may go for a shot. He does. He curls it. And oh, again, just half a yard. So, so close. And a, a, a terrific counter-attack. Luke O'Neill just overplaying it there, really, under no real pressure. Conor Curran brown steals it off him. And suddenly we're, we're flowing forward. Jake Gray does so well to find Alfie Whittingham and bombing on. He, again, gets his head up, finds Stefan Illich. And we've won it back again here. Yep, Curran brown the man in form today. He's beaten one. He's beaten two. Gets it down to the byline. He's good. Well, I thought he might have let that go for a corner, but... He instead plays it back to Jake Gray, but he just can't quite control it. Is Shane Dunn with a long-range effort on that side? It's played in centrally, and they get a shot away. It was Alfred Polion with the shot. Base and Sterling James bombarding down the right-hand side. He finds him. He's going to enter the box if he can. Cuts back in. Oh, it's inside. It's in the centre. It comes out to the right-hand side, and it's a goal for the substitute, Gregory Cundall. It's his first touch of the ball. And he just slots it beyond the hapless Joe Walsh. A fantastic counter-attack for Ebsfleet. And that is why they are top of the league. Yeah, it just feels a little bit soft, doesn't it? Again, you know, I don't think we've really forced them to, to cut us open. It was one of them where we had a few chances to, to clear the ball. It just gets crowded out. But Shane Dunn has it back. Tommy Block is desperate for the ball on this right-hand side. He eventually gets it. And he's down by the byline. Tries to get round his man. Does so. He's brought down. Gets back up though, and oh, the, the goalkeeper just keeps hold of it. Oh, and it looks like Tommy Wood was marked as offside. I'm not quite sure. Goal or a goal kick. kick. Maybe, yeah, know. goal kick. But well, I mean, certainly fouled there. I'm not really sure um, how that one quite works. Yeah, but, a lot of experience in the Ebbsfleet back line. Can they deal with this one though? It's into a good area, and Babaloda and Wood were both close to it. But Cousins just gets through, just looked a bit more composed when they've won it back in their own area. And they're able to. Uh, get it clear on more occasions and now they're bearing in on goal it's the substitute Shaquille Coulthurst he's going past Joe Walsh and he's brought down by Alfie Whittingham and it's a penalty it's a penalty to Ebbsfleet I mean he had no choice really and Alfie Whittingham just gets just gets something there and uh, it's yellow only a card. yellow card yeah probably got away with that one for yeah. Alfie Joe Walsh rattles the crossbar in an attempt to rattle Coulthurst who steps up and he's missed it, he's put it well, wide, he's grabbed it. Hampton in Richmond. Turns back in on himself, goes to Gray, feeds it into Stefan Illich. Plays a brilliant one too, here is Jake Gray. Just didn't open up for the shot. Back to Illich, who's inside the box, plays it back out to Tommy Block. Crosses it to the back post. Oh, he just thought it was landing directly on either Dean Inman or Babalola's heads. It doesn't, and Ebsfleet just able to half clear it, only as far as Vincent. And then it's uh, tackled out for a could it get even better for the Beavers. Liam Vincent trying to put a low cross into the box. Babalola's won it on the second attempt though. Tommy Wood unable to bring it down. And the clearance takes a deflection off Alfie Whittingham, which sends it goalwards, but uh, quite softly and gently. It, it needs to be a good delivery from Jake Gray. Please just land at the head or feet of a Hampton player. Give us this chance. Here we go. It's an out swinger, goes to the back post. Joe Walsh gets something on it. Oh, Illich goes for the audacious overhead kick, but doesn't make any contact. And now Joe Walsh desperately sprinting back to get into his goal. And Liam Vincent makes the challenge on Cundall. That's and that's going to be a yellow card for Liam Vincent. For Liam Vincent. Yeah, Joe Walsh no goes upfield looking for Dean Inman, who, as we said, has assumed a striker position in these dying moments. It's chipped over the top of the back line. Babalola not able to get on it. Gray plays it to Vincent, comes into the box. It's 
It's a brilliant ball across the face of goal, just not enough players gambling on it. Although it's only fed out to Tommy Block on the right. And you feel like this is do or die now for Hampton and Richmond as Stefan Illich gets his head up, decides to cut infield instead of looking for Tommy Block. Goes back to Ben Schroll on the halfway line. He's going to send it back right this time to Marcus Sablia. Tries to get it past Coolthurst, who missed that penalty. Unable to do so, and that is the end of it.